now let's start our next chapter now you don't write anything you just have to listen to me and understand okay now first say for example i had to add rupees 400 but by mistake i added rupees 600 so this is what the correct i had to do this is the wrong thing that i have done so how will i rectify it yes very good we have to rectify by minusing 200 so plus 600 minus 200 becomes plus 400 fantastic okay then let me give you another example you had to add 300 but you minus 300 instead of adding you have subtracted so how will we rectify this very good so we have to what should we do we should add 600 see how why add to uh, you know to nullify the minus now add so it will become zero and then to have a positive balance now add 600 fantastic then let me uh, you had to minus 600 but you minus only 200 so how will we rectify this very good we should minus 400 now more so if you more minus 400 it will become total minus 600 Uh, yeah ma'am this once more see if you are on the timeline you are here zero you had to add 300 but we have not done this we have minus 300 so from here you should come here till here you have to come so how will we come to nullify this you should add 300 then you come to zero then you add more 300 so total add will become 600 to reach here okay now let's introduce debit or credit in, debit and credit in this we had to debit 400 but we debited 600 means excess debit so how will we nullify by crediting 200 we had to debit only 400 but what did we do we debited extra 600 so how will we nullify you should credit 200 you can't scratch okay you can't cancel and then no you can't do that in accounts in your note uh, in your accounts book we don't do that that is why we rectify it we correct it okay next one more you had to credit 700 but we credited 800 we credited more then what do we do oh done done very good everybody fantastic ma'am now you debit 100 to nullify it okay now let's introduce some accounts salary account should have been debited with 700 but salary account is debited sorry is credited with 700 so if you were to open a salaries account can i say salary is a expense expense should be debited yeah correct it should have been debited with 7 but what did we do we wrote it on this side by mistake now how to rectify this ma'am yes yes very good fantastic to nullify the credit go back you will debit 700 and to have a debit of 700 debit 700 so my total debit will become 1400 so how will you rectify debit salary account by 1400 next bills receivable book total was 800 but while totaling by mistake you wrote the total of 1800 you one one line extra happened 1800 so how will we rectify this very good oh yes fantastic everybody so what happened now you have to think okay bills receivable book ka total will go to bills receivable account 
बिल्स रिसीवेबल बुक का टोटल विल गो टू बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट इज अट अकाउंट यू शुड डेबिटेड सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डेबिटिंग एट हंड्रेड वी डेबिटेड एटीन हंड्रेड सो वॉट टू डू कैन आई से गो बैक टू थाउजेंड सो क्रेडिट थाउजेंड सो आर रेक्टिफिकेशन विल बी क्रेडिट बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट बाय थाउजेंड क्लियर एवरीबडी एनी डाउट टिल हियर नो अदर्स सी यू पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दीज बिकम्स वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू मेक श्योर दैट द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर बिकम्स अ केक वॉक ओके नाउ प्लीज पार्टिसिपेट एवरीबडी सेल्स सॉरी हाउस सेल्स अकाउंट बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट क्रेडिटेड इज अ इनकम शुड बी क्रेडिटेड सो वन क्रेडिट इज करेक्ट एवरीबडी डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट मच वन क्रेडिट इज करेक्ट the second credit is wrong so how will we nullify very good by debiting so debit sales account by 75 fantastic very good very good i had to account for purchases 750 rupees debit i had to do it okay what i had to do i had to debit purchases by 750 I didn't do anything. I forgot. I didn't do anything. Should I rectify it? How will you rectify it? I forgot. Is it okay? Shall I leave it off? No. We have to pass the entry, right? So how will you rectify it? Yes. Fantastic. Now go to purchase account and debit by seven fifty. clear everybody any doubt till here no let's take one more rent credited by 750 is this wrong or correct rent credited by 750 how will you rectify this should you rectify this Or it's correct only, no, ma'am. Yeah. Question remaining: Silent rent paid. Ma'am, the purchase is seventy-five. We have rent is an expense. Ma'am, we have to debit rent is an expense. Is it rent received or paid? Question remaining: Silent always paid. Ma'am, the purchase is seventy-five. Nandita, I didn't understand. What do you mean? They are debited because of him. Fantastic! So, lot of correct answers. We have purchased seven fifty debit. So, debit purchases by seven fifty. These two are separate transaction, Nandita. The sale is seventy five and purchase is seven fifty. Okay, ha. Huh. So that over. Yes, everybody. Lot of you gave a correct answer. Fantastic, ma'am. Rent is a expense. Expense should be debited, not credited. So how do we rectify now? See, if you were to have a rent account. can i say you should have written here but what have we done we have written here so to nullify this go back and debit 750 and to have a debit debit 750 so the total debit will become uh, 750 750 1500 so how do we rectify yes very good how do we rectify debit rent account by 1500 See if you see logically. Now if you see rent seven fifty here, fifteen hundred here. So the net effective of this will be seven fifty 
750 here. So correct answer. So your error is rectified. Yes, yes. So can I say in all the things that I have explained now is nothing but the error that you have made? Correct everybody? Yes. Yes, so we have made an error. Yes, fantastic. So that brings me to our next chapter. Our next chapter is called as rectification of errors. Okay, don't write please. We have to write it in a very systematic manner so that we don't go wrong in this chapter. Okay, now what does the word rectification mean? The word rectification means to correct something or, or in accounts we mean to correct the wrong treatment given for correct transactions. To correct the wrong treatment given for correct transaction. Now what is an error? It is a mistake. It is a mistake. A, a mistake is always unintentional. Okay. If it is intentional then it is a fraud. If you are doing intentionally then you are committing a fraud. But a mistake is something that is unintentional. So, error is nothing but unintentional mistake. Okay. So, what are we trying to do here? Something that you have done by mistake, we are trying to correct it. Okay. Now, I had explained to you one thing. When we started our batch, we have journal from which we post the transactions to ledger. From ledger, we post to trial balance from which we prepare final accounts. That is nothing but your PNL and balance sheet. Then you go to the next year. Again, in the next year, you start with journal, ledger, trial balance, final accounts, close the book. Then you start with the next year. So like this the process keeps getting continued. Correct everybody? Okay. So from journal to ledger is called as bookkeeping. Correct? From journal to ledger is called identify record class is, is called as bookkeeping and done by a small clerk who does not have much knowledge of accounts. Correct? You remember? Yes. And from here preparation of trial balance and your, you know, this going to next year is done by a person who has more knowledge of accounts. Okay. So, since this is the thing that is done by a small clerk, he does not have much knowledge of accounts. That is why this is the area where a lot of errors can happen. This is the area where a lot of errors can happen. And this is the area where we have to learn to rectify it. Once more, journal and ledger are prepared by a small clerk who does not have much knowledge of accounts. Therefore, there are high chances that he makes an error. From preparation of trial balance to taking the balance in the next year is done by a person who has more knowledge of accounts and that is why he identifies, oh this error has happened, that error has happened. So, this is the area where we have to learn how to rectify. Now, we have heard the er word error, error a lot. First, let's understand what are the types of errors. Yeah, sorry. So, first we have to understand what are the types of error. Now, errors are of two types. First is error of principle. Okay. Error of principle, error of principle means a capital item treated as revenue or a revenue item treated as capital. Ma'am, can you give us one example? Yes. Purchase of furniture. When you purchase a furniture, what is the journal entry? Furniture account debit to cash. 
error of principal means a capital item is treated as a revenue okay means what when you purchase a furniture furniture is a asset so furniture account debit to cash account or bank account whatever but what did we do purchase account debit to cash so when you purchase a furniture it should be furniture to cash but what have we done purchase us to cash so this is called as error of principal or when you sold machinery when you sell machinery machinery is asset asset will decrease therefore you should credit machinery account and money will come in bank bank is asset asset should be debited increase but what did we do you know we did bank account to sales account so this is again wrong you shouldn't have done this you should have done this so such kind of errors are called as error of principal what is error of principal capital treated as revenue and vice versa okay yes we'll come back okay for now just follow the second type of error is clerical error c l e r i ha c a l clerical error now clerical error are further three types first one error of omission okay error of omission now again error of omission are of two types one partial omission and second complete omission okay so now let's just quickly revise what we are trying to understand we are studying rectification of error what does the word rectify mean the reward rectify means to correct something an error means something that you have done unintentionally it is a by mistake okay it is not intentionally otherwise it would have been fraud so we are trying to correct some wrong treatment given for correct transaction now what did we understand journal to ledger is done by a small clerk not having much knowledge of accounts therefore this is the area where he makes error then when the books are taken away by somebody who has more knowledge of accounts he will find that the errors have happened and he should rectify it before we understand how to rectify first we should understand what are the types of error first is error of principal means a capital item treated as revenue or vice versa means when you purchase a asset you debit purchases account instead of debiting furniture account then we understood the second type of error is clerical error clerical error means first error is error of omission omission means to forget partial omission means you forgot half an hour complete omission means you forgot full okay partial omission means you forgot journal entry not posted to ledger okay so you passed the journal entry but you forgot to post it in the ledger so this is partial omission complete omission means journal not recorded journal also not recorded ledger also not recorded are you understanding what is partial omission you passed the journal entry but you forgot to write it in ledger what is complete omission you passed the you forgot to write journal entry also ledger also clear the second second type of error is a compensating error compensating error means one error that you make compensates an other error means this set off against each other 
Now let's take an example. You received rupees 10 from rupees 10. You received from kya kar rahi hai nihal from mr a now when you re received rupees 10 from mr a can i say you should have debited bank account and credited a account because bank will increase so bank should have been debited and credited a account not credited to A. So, because of this, can I say your total credit will decrease by rupees 10? Okay. So, this is a one error that you made. What is the error? When you received 10 rupees from A, you debited bank account. Very good. But you forgot to credit A account. So, because of this, your total books, when you see, credit is decreasing by 10. Then the, and you made another error. The error was to, total of sales book rupees 10 extra. Means if the total of sales book was 8,190, you wrote 8,200. Means you wrote 10 rupees extra. Now think, now think, sale book total will go to sales account. Sales account on the credit side. So, can I say because of this, you are writing 10 extra on the credit side? Because of this, you are writing 10 extra on the credit side. So, extra credit of 10. Now, now you should understand that one error that you made compensated an other error. Decrease credit, increase credit. Effect nullified. It is both are still errors. Both you still have to rectify. But this is a type of error. Compensating error means one error that we make compensates an other error. Okay. And the next one is error of commission. Error of commission is balancing figure. Means any other error which does not find place in the 3 will come and sit in error of commission. Now let's take example. Wrong amount in subsidiary book or journal. When you are passing the journal entry, no, the amount was 1000 but you wrote 10,000. Error of commission. Then when you have to post from journal to ledger, you had to debit, but you credited. You had to debit sales uh, purchases account, but you debited purchase return account. So, all these other types of error which do not find place in the first three comes and sits here. So, we write posting to wrong amount in ledger, wrong side of ledger. Wrong balancing. So, these are the kind of errors you can make and there are many more. Okay, there are many more. So, let us not, let us understand till here now. So, what are we understanding? We are understanding the types of errors that we can make. What are the types of errors? First error is error of principle. Means, you treat capital item as a revenue item or revenue item as a capital item. Okay. The second type of error is clerical error. In clerical, we have again three. What is the first one? Error of omission. Error me omit to omit means to forget. Either you partially omit it or you completely omit it. Then you have error of, sorry, compensating error. One error that we make compensates an other error. And the third one is error of commission means balancing figure. All the other error comes in, sits in error of commission. Okay, any doubt till here? Guys, any doubt till here?
others no okay now let's come back to this part and understand ma'am can you explain the last one which last one error of commission anup yes okay error of commission is like a balancing figure okay all the other types of error that you make no is error of commission like for example uh, journal entry was purchase to cash 7000 but you wrote 700 so error of commission you when you had to go you went to purchase as account and you had to write it on the debit side but you wrote on the credit side error of commission instead of writing in the purchase account you wrote in purchase return account 700 error of commission by balancing the ledger you wrongly balanced error of commission subsidiary books may you have done mistake means the totaling of page you have done wrong error of commission one page to another page carry forward wrong error of commission posting to account wrongly done error of commission so basically apart from these three types of error if you making any other type of error then it is a error of commission ma'am how to rectify is what we will understand now now that we have to go to part first we have to understand now what are the types of error how to rectify we will study now we'll understand now okay okay now so now is the part where you have to pay utmost attention okay please guys please pay utmost attention everybody okay now what has happened is journal to ledger this place errors have been made now you were going to prepare trial balance you are on the way to prepare trial balance so what did you do now you are the uh, higher person okay above clerk you take the books from the clerk and tell that i i will prepare the trial balance so you took the book from the clerk now you have to prepare the trial balance so what did you do okay let me just see the books no you were seeing the books and on the face of it you could find some errors so now you have to rectify it correct so how you will rectify now before preparation of trial balance is called as btb but the before preparation of trial balance you have to rectify the error how to do it okay this is one type you have to learn okay okay so some errors you found you have to rectify it how to rectify we'll study in a while okay you prepared the trial balance after preparation of trial balance before preparing preparing the final accounts now see if you would have prepare, prepared the trial balance means you would have done this if there are errors will the trial balance tally if there are errors will the trial balance tally very good no it will not tally then can i say there will be a difference in trial balance so we already learned no the difference of trial balance should go to suspense account either debit or credit correct we studied this correct so you already prepared the trial balance and there is suspense account now and now you are rectifying the error then this method is called as atb matlab after trial balance okay you prepared final accounts everything over now you are going to next year in the next year you find last year error here how to rectify is afa that is after financial year errors okay so there are three places now whenever you take a question on rectification you should ask is it btb atb or afa and then you should pass rectification entry because you have to understand if it is btb all ledgers are open no suspense account is there so directly go and post if it is atb hello suspense account will be there so how to adjust along with suspense account you have to understand and if it is in the next year then last year error i'm rectifying in the current year then how to rectify we have to understand now let's go ahead okay now we'll understand one by one one by one how it will happen if it is btb atb and afa 
ma'am if question remains silent then it is assumed that it is btb i have told you this question remaining silent they have not told which stage we are in then it is always btb okay eh uh, no wait one second just give me one second okay is the screen clear yeah okay now we'll take error types of error and how to rectify them hmm. okay now let's take a error okay now credit sales of 750 credited to x account now one thing before we go ahead whenever we talk about if they say it is credited to x account means now see first in the first in the credit sales to x what will be the journal entry when you have made a credit sales to x what will be the journal entry x to sales correct everybody now x should have been debited yes fantastic very good and sales should have been credited now what have we done credit sales of 750 credited to x account but x should have been debited what have we done we have credited to x account are you understanding till here when they have told credited to x account that does not mean that it is debited to sales account i'm being very loud because every you all will repeat this mistake n number of times if they have told x is wrong that means only x is wrong that does not mean even sales is wrong am i clear am i clear everybody if they say x is wrong only x is wrong sales is not wrong okay if you repeat this mistake okay so what did they say credit sales of 750 credited to x account so how will you rectify this normally till now we have learned no few rectification how will you rectify this mm -hmm. very good very good so many correct answers super fantastic others credit sales of 750 you should have debited x account but what have we done we have credited him so how will we rectify this 
Fantastic. Ma'am, what you should do? Go to X account. X account. And you write here 1500. Correct everybody? You write here to wrong posting. Correct? This is how we will rectify. You have to debit X account. Now, this is a new thing you are learn. What you will write there? To wrong posting. Okay. Now, now this is B2, BTB. Okay. Now, now can I say, can I say that when they so said that credited to X account means only X is wrong. This means this is a one-sided error. What is this? This is a one-sided error. Okay. So now, what did we learn? No, you should not make a note of anything. Now, if it is, what did we learn? That if only one account is wrong, then it is called as one-sided error. Now, does it mean the entry in sales account was correct? Yes, that's what I was being so loud about. I said, whenever they have told that X is wrong, this means only X is wrong. Sales is correct. You should not go and touch sales account. Okay? Okay. So, how do we rectify the sales? How did we rectify? We, re we went and we gave the correct effect. So, we understood if it is BTB and if it is a one-sided error, pass the second effect. Or pass the second or correct effect. Am I clear till here? Any doubt? Did you understand how did I rectify this? Okay, now come here. Okay, now come here. What if this error was identified after preparation of trial balance? Means, means now think, now think. After preparation of trial balance means suspense account is already open and suspense account will have some balance because there is one-sided error. Okay, so there is an error because of which the suspense account will have balance. Now, can I say it? You told me, ma'am, debit X account. So, here, the second effect will go to suspense account. Because, because, in your, sus if, see, if there is an error, my trial balance wouldn't have tallied and the difference would have gone to suspense account. So, what do we do? <clears throat> we pass the journal entry, X account debit to suspense, 1500. So, the, the effect is still the same. X was debited in the first case. In the second case also, X is debited only. Now, credit suspense account because the there will be suspense account. Am I clear till here? Any doubt? Change the balance in suspense account. We will not change the balance in suspense account. We will pass the entry because of which the balance in suspense account will change automatically. Okay? Okay. Now, if it is in the next year, for now just accept the entry will remain the same. For now just accept the entry will remain the same. Okay. Now, this is the first type. Now, let's go to second type. Rent paid for
now sometimes i will trick you also okay i will write the entry which will be correct and i'll ask you to rectify so you should think first whether this, this is a wrong or not okay so you should think rent paid for proprietor's resident recorded in rent account now first thing is it a error or not it is a okay aishwarya okay pavan others what do you think is this correct or wrong amrita gowda no means what this is not a error it is correct okay okay so amrita gowda is telling ma'am this is correct okay okay anup okay pav okay now rent paid for proprietor's residence very good lingesh is is recorded in rent account ye beta it is proprietor matlab owner ka house that house ka rent business is paying so is it our expenses is it our rent no it is drawing are you understanding okay now what has happened now what has happened first i will teach you shortcut then i will explain you the full long cut okay now let's see what did they say proprietor's rent recorded in rent account now think and tell me rent should, would have been debited or credited debited very good so rent account was wrongly debited correct so if you want to nullify this what will you do very good she is telling ma'am you credit it so to rent account and what you should have debited instead of rent what you should have debited instead of rent fantastic ma'am you should have debited to drawings account but you have debited rent account fantastic very good very good i should have debited drawing not debited now debit i have debited rent wrongly debited now credit to nullify okay so proprietor's rent recorded in rent account so what is the rectification entry drawings account debit to rent account now this is the logical way of doing okay if you understand debit and credit but if you don't understand debit and credit this is how we would do what is the wrong entry that we have passed the wrong entry we have passed is rent to cash correct now what is the correct entry we should have passed we should have passed drawings account to cash now what do they say this is already done this is already done this i should have done okay so what do they say first reverse the wrong entry so how will we reverse cash to rent and then pass the correct entry so pass reverse the wrong entry and then pass the correct entry so we don't pass two entries we pass only one entry that will be called as rectification entry net of these two this is already done you can't change it you first reverse the wrong entry and pass the correct entry so instead of doing two we do only one see cash debit cash credit gone so rectification entry will be drawings account debit to rent account clear till here so this is how you pass so this is called as four steps now come here rent paid for proprietor's resident recorded in rent account this is a two sided error ma'am how two sided because two accounts are wrong one is rent and one is drawings so how did we rectify in btb how will we rectify we should rectify drawings account debit to rent account so ma'am what did we do we did four step if it is a two sided error then we should do four steps now come back if it is a after trial balance error if it is a after trial balance error now think what did i say i told after trial balance means 
I would have opened uh, sorry trial balance and if the if the if the error is of two sides if the errors is of two sides then it will not affect my suspense account because one debit one credit effect will get nullified so this will not affect my suspense account you should still do four steps and the entry will be drawings to rent clear yes tb will tally if it is a two sided error okay okay now come to the afa now this is the important part please pay attention last time you will have to pay a good attention now in the next year you identified this error okay so how to rectify okay you do drawings account debit to rent account but you are in the next year this is the rent of which year last year so if you write rent in the current year it is going to affect the rent of current year wherein it will be wrong it will be wrong right it should have it should belong to rent of last year you are understanding after financial year means next year in the next year if i credit rent then it will be wrong no because it should relate to the so therefore they say whenever it is a nominal account whenever it is a nominal account please replace with pnl adjustment account and then this pnl adjustment will be adjusted against your capital okay ma'am can you please explain what is this it all went above our head dekho whenever it is a nominal account all nominal accounts are going in trading and pnl pnl profit will ultimately go to balance sheet mein capital ko adjust hoga correct now here if it is a real and personal account then can i say they go personally sit in balance sheet and in the next year real and personal account have balance bought down but your nominal account are closed and they are transferred to trading and pnl and this will ultimately affect capital so what do they say if you have a nominal account which relates to the last year but in the nominal account i don't have a balance bought down right so what do they say don't put it to the nominal account of the current year you please write it in a separate account called pnl adjustment account and then this pnl adjustment account will be adjusted at the with the capital at the year end after all the errors have been identified okay so what did we understood till now if it is a btb and it is a one sided error pass the second effect if it is a two sided error do four step if it is a after trial balance error pass second effect sorry pass journal entry one effect will be suspense account okay one effect will be suspense pass the second if it is a two sided error see here if it was a two sided error then what did we do same to same so same it will be four steps if you find a two sided error in the next year then same four steps but replace nominal accounts with pnl adjustment account okay and here what to do same uh, here this this part i would like to come a little later okay any doubt till here let's take more examples and we will continue okay yes i just did that so let's take another one hmm
ओके सैलरी इज रुपीज टू हंड्रेड क्रेडिटेड टू सैलरीज अकाउंट नेक्स्ट टाइम नोट इन डाउन ओके नाउ सैलरी इज रुपीज टू हंड्रेड क्रेडिट टू सैलरीज अकाउंट नाउ नॉर्मली टिल नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट टू डू हाउ टू रेक्टिफाई दिस ओके वन आंसर लिंगेश इज गिविंग अदर्स Yes, that's the correct answer. Mauna, how much? Very good, Anup. Yes, Pavan, correct. So, what will we do? We go to salaries account. We write here four hundred, and we write two wrong posting. Correct? Very good, very good. Now. If it is after trial balance, means now first, first, first. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Whenever you find the error, first you should tell me is it a one-sided or two-sided error. So is this a one-sided or a two-sided? One-sided error. Correct, everybody. Oh, fantastic. Very good. Now, if it is a one-sided error, then here suspense account will come. So you have debited salaries. So the entry will remain the same. So entry will be. Salaries account debit to suspense four hundred. Clear everybody? Now, if it is AFA, then what you should do? You should only think one thing: is it is there any nominal account? Yes or no? Is there any nominal account? If it is there, then replace with P and L adjustment. Okay. So my entry: is there any nominal account in this? in this any nominal account is there which one salary so what we will do pnl adjustment account debit to suspense account 400 so this is how it will differ okay let me give you one more example You have received thousand from A. Amrita, we have to replace nominal account, not suspense account. So salaries is a nominal account, right? So we replace nominal account with P and L adjustment, and we put to suspense account. Suspense to remain. Suspense is not a nominal account. Okay. Okay. Now next one. You have received thousand from A. But you wrote in B account. Ha! Huh. First, what you should tell me: two-sided or one-sided? Okay, two people have answered. Others? Very good, fantastic. Okay, very good, ma'am. It is a two-sided error because A account you have you have received from A. But recorded in B, so ma'am, it is a two-sided error. Okay, now, now think, now think, now think. What would have been the error? You received cash from A, so money is coming. Cash is a asset. Cash would have increased. Therefore, cash account debit to A account. But what have we done? We have written to B account. We have written to B. So can I say what you have done? Cash. To A, you should have written. But instead of A, what have we written? We have written B. So can I say B is wrongly credited? To rectify, we should debit. Yes. So B is wrongly credited. To rectify, you should debit. And can I say A should have been credited, not credited, now credit. A should have been credited, not credited. Now credit once more, once more. I received thousand rupees from A, so I would have received cash. Cash is an asset. Cash is coming in, correct. So cash will increase. Therefore, cash account should be debited. Whom have you received from A? So you should have written A. But what did we write? We wrote B. 
B is wrongly credited to nullify debit and A should have been credited, not credited, now credit, so A. So, what is our rectification entry? B account debit to A account. I could have done 4 steps but this is more logical. Okay. Now, here, here, again can I say this is a two-sided error? Therefore, there will not be any suspense. So, what you do? Again, it will be the same. B to A. A is 1000, okay. Now, in the third column, what you should see? Is there any nominal account? Okay, Anushri. Others, is there any nominal account? Very good. So, then my rectification entry remains the same. So, it will be B to A, 1000. Clear? Okay, let me take one more. Ma'am, I don't understand four steps, but I understood this method. So, can I do this only? Yes, yes, please do this only. But there will be sometimes you may need four steps. So, we will do, we will do. Okay, but if you understand this, fantastic, fabulous. Okay. Uh, no, this I can't take right now. But we'll do it right now. Ma'am, actually, B account is debited or credited with 1000 at the start. See, at the start, the entry should have been cash to A, but you wrote cash to B. 1000 received from A recorded in B means you have recorded to B. So, you have credited B. Rent paid 750 rupees debited to landlord account. Now, first think and tell me when you pay rent, what is the journal entry? Okay. Okay, when you pay rent, can I say money is going out? So, cash account should be credited. Money is going out, so cash account to be credited. Fantastic. And what account should be debited? Rent account, not landlord account. No, the journal entry for rent is rent to cash, not landlord to cash. Clear? So, rent paid rupees 750, you have debited whom? Landlord account. Now think and tell me, is this a one-sided error or two-sided error? How many accounts are getting affected? One or two? Which account, Tejaswini? Very good, Lingesh. Okay, Tejaswini is saying, ma'am, only one account, that is landlord account. But Tejaswini, can I say, we have wrongly debited landlord. So, you should correct and you have not debited rent. Okay, so this is a two-sided error. Now, instead of writing rent here, what have we written? Landlord. Now, can I say this is wrong? 
So how will you rectify this? By crediting. So you should credit landlord. Landlord wrongly debited. So now credit to rectify. And who should have been debited? Rent. Is it debited? No. Now debit. So the journal entry will be rent account debit to landlord account. So here it will be rent to landlord 750. Clear? Okay. Now in the second case because it is a two sided error. So suspense account won't come. Then again the rectification entry remains the same. Now think and tell me, yes, in the third what will happen? Is there a nominal account? Yes, which one? Very good Anushree. Yes, Tejaswini. Very good Tejas. So what you should do with it? Replace with PNL adjustment account. So our journal entry will be PNL adjustment to landlord account. This one, Anu? Okay. Okay, one more minute you want to see. Done? Shalom. Next one. Yes, everything I'll make you write in a proper way so that tomorrow, when you come tomorrow for a after revision, no, you will be done properly. Okay. Sales book overcasted by 800 means, let me tell you what has happened. When you are doing sales book, no, you are, you are preparing sales book. So that time, by, if the total was uh, 1000 rupees, you wrote 1800. Overcasted means you are showing more. Overcasted means you are showing more. Okay. So now, first thing can tell me, is it a one-sided error or a two-sided error? Okay, okay, very good. Others? Very good, Pooja. Yes, Mauna, Aishwarya, correct. Correct, Pavan. Very good, Anup. Linesh, super. Okay, so ma'am, yes, this is a one-sided error because only sale is wrong, correct? Now, think, think, sale book overcasted means Showing over. Now, where will you write sales book total? Ma'am, sales book total will be written on the credit side of sales account. Sales book total will be written in the credit side of sales account. So, can I say you are showing credit side more? Then how will you rectify it? Debit how much Anup? Very good. Okay. Now, see here. Sales account. You have written, you let's say it was 0. You should have written 0. But what have you written? 800. So, can I say it is only more by 800? So, how will you rectify? Debit 800. So, we go to sales account. 
and on the debit side you write 800 you write 2 over casting okay now if it is a one sided error in your btb will there be suspense account yes very good so here you have to debit sales here also debit sales so the journal entry will be sales to suspend 800 clear till here okay and if it is afa then what to do if it is afa what to do the only rule for afa is what replace nominal accounts correct yes very good very good so you will do pnl adjustment to suspend fantastic fantastic now shall i go a little step ahead now we'll take good questions okay now when now read the question purchases rupees 240 from x so you have made purchases from x passed through sales book whenever they say passed through sales book it means purchases has been recorded as sales instead of writing a purchase entry you have written a sale entry okay so this is the wrong now think and tell me first of all first of all think and tell me one sided error two sided error two sided error everybody this is easy okay now what they are saying what they are saying wrong entry instead of purchases you have made instead of passing purchase entry you have written sale entry so what is the sale entry x to sales correct now what entry you should have passed purchases to x correct very good so what do we do what do we do reverse the wrong entry so my reversal will be sorry sales to x 240 then what did we tell we do not pass entry we pass we do not pass two entry we pass net effect of one entry now think now think there is a reason i wrote it like this okay it won't be purchase to sale see properly see properly everybody sale account getting debited purchase account getting debited x account getting credited see in that case cash cash was getting cancelled then it was drawing to rent but here nothing is getting cancelled so my entry will be sales debit 240 purchase debit 240 2x 480 are you understanding so when they say that it is passed through sales book it is mean instead of writing purchase entry you have written sale entry so what do we do first write the sale entry then ulta then write the correct entry net effect what is the net effect sale also debit purchase also debit x credit 480 so my rectification entry will be sale account purchase account to x account 240 240 480 now again because it is a two sided error entry will remain the same here also so sale purchase to x 240 240 480 now in the third scenario what should we do is there any nominal account yes so how should we rectify
very good purchase and sale both are nominal so what will we do so my entry here will be pnl adjustment 2x 480 480 clear till here anybody any doubt in this very good others others doubt no doubt okay then i'll take the next one i forgot what what is the count seven right now we are in the eighth one Sales return from Y not recorded in the books, fully forgotten. Can I say complete omission? Yes. So one sided, two sided. Okay. If there is complete omission. then can i say i have forgotten to write the journal entry itself correct no so this means i should write the journal entry no so if i have to write the journal entry i'll write one aspect or two aspects i should write the two aspects so can i say both i have forgotten therefore it will be a two sided error if i have completely forgotten to write this means i have to write the journal and pass the entry of the ledger also this means i have completely forgotten therefore i'll write both the aspects that is why it is a two sided error now think and tell me so what entry should i write for sales return very good sales return account debit to buy account 2000 Yes. In the second, can I say because there is a two-sided error, there's be no suspense account. So sales return to buy. Then in the third, what should I do? Nominal account. Very good. So P N L adjustment. to buy okay any doubt anybody please raise your hand if you have a doubt total of purchase return book not posted to the account itself so purchase return book total should go to the purchase return account no but you didn't post only one sided two sided yes pavan see when i say sales return entry not recorded then it will be two sided but from purchase return book we we post that amount only to one particular account right we don't post it to purchase return account and the other account purchase return book total goes only to purchase return account so therefore it is a one sided error so can what should i do i should go to purchase return account now purchase return debit or credit very good i should credit uh, let's 
take a figure which is written book 7800 okay so we should credit 7800 and we write here by omission okay now since it is a one sided error suspense account will come so again purchase return will get credited so we debit suspense account so my journal entry will be suspense to purchase return 7800 and here we should replace the nominal account which is a nominal account yes purchase return is a nominal account so we write suspense to pnl adjustment very good dhanush 7800 now bad debt recovery has happened and you have posted it to the personal account of mr c now before anything first thing can tell me what is the journal entry for bad debt recovery we have done this i will not teach you again what is the journal entry for bad debt recovery okay one answer came in others okay two people we have done this come on guys very good anushri praniti so ma'am the journal entry is the correct journal entry should have been cash to bad debt recovery account correct now what have they said bad debt recovery posted to personal account of mr c so what have we done cash to c is this correct or wrong this is wrong correct now think and tell me is this a one sided error or a two sided error very good amrita sinchana yes fantastic very good everybody this is a two sided error it is affecting c account and bad debt recovery account now what is the rule reverse the wrong entry so c to cash okay this has happened now we should do nullification now see cash cash gone opposite opposite can go okay so it will be c account debit to bad debt recovery account now if you want the logic logical way of doing logical way of doing i should have credited bad debt recovery but what did i credit c account so can i say c is wrongly credited so to nullify debit c i should have credited bad debt recovery but i credited c account c is wrongly credited so to nullify debit and now credit bad debt recovery 700 since it is a two sided error suspense account won't come so again c to bad debt recovery and here is there any nominal account yes bad debt recovery is a nominal account so we replace with pnl adjustment 700 clear everybody any doubt
we have to we'll take two three more so that all types of rectification entries will come up then we'll have only sums to do okay now so you have received a check from mr a and that has been dishonored a check has been dishonored and wrong debited to allowance account now first thing can tell me when a check is dishonored what is the journal entry you should pass when a check is dishonored what is the journal entry you should pass if you don't know please raise your hand i am ready to explain from the start don't pretend as if you know later you will get stuck okay praniti i will explain for you others okay fantastic now dekho when you sell goods to somebody sale is a income sale should be credited okay so you write two sale and you write x okay then he has to pay you money okay so he gave you a check so means money will come in bank so bank is an asset asset will increase therefore debit bank and credit x so it means you got a check and you put it in the bank now what happened this check has been dishonored means money did not come to your account so what you should do reverse the entry you will account it receivable again from x and you will reverse the bank so when a check is dishonored our journal entry is x account debit to bank account or the party account debit to bank account because money did not come so so the entry that i should have passed is a account debit to bank now instead of debiting a what have we debited allowance so what wrong entry should did we do allowance account debit to bank now first what you should do reverse the wrong entry so bank to allowance then we should pass net of entry now see bank debit bank credit gone so our journal entry will be a account debit to allowance or the logical way of thinking very good tejaswini logical way of thinking now think when a check is dishonored who should be debited the party from whom we have to still receive that is a did you debit a no what did we debit allowance so wrongly debited now credit to nullify and not debited a now debit a so a account debit to allowance 70 so it is no no suspense is there so we write the same and here nominal account is there yes allowance is a nominal account so we write a to pnl adjustment 70 okay we'll take one very good one now what they are saying machinery bought 9 9000 debited to purchases account correct or wrong very good dhanush 
ओके यस करेक्ट पवन वेन यू बाय अ मशीनरी वॉट अकाउंट शुड यू डेबिट तेजस्विनी वेन यू बाय अ मशीनरी आर यू मेकिंग परचेजेस यू आर परचेजिंग अट सो मशीनरी अकाउंट शुड बी डेबिटेड येस वेरी गुड सो कैन आई से यू शुड हैव डेबिटेड मशीनरी अकाउंट बट वॉट विट बी डेबिट Purchases account. So purchases wrongly debited to nullify credit. And what should have been debited? Machinery not debited. Now debit. So machinery account debit to purchases account nine thousand. Okay. Now if it is identified in the BT ATB again, can I say no suspense? So it will remain the same. okay and if it is identified in the next year then what to do machinery to pnl adjustment now you will pay attention okay this is little important and little tricky please pay attention dekho this stage is the stage where i identify before preparation of trial balance this means the trial balance still has to be prepared final account still have to be prepared so if we we should pass depreciation entry right also if you are correcting your error for the machinery we should also pass depreciation right so anyways when do you pass depreciation when we prepare final accounts it will come as a adjustment no correct depreciation will come as a adjustment right so Uh, this depreciation journal entry we anyways pass at the time of preparing final account so i won't do any depreciation adjustment here okay even in this case we are still yet to prepare trial balance uh, sorry we are still yet to prepare final accounts so i'm still yet to prepare final account when i prepare final account that time i will give depreciation effect therefore i won't do depreciation here also but in the next year when i'm in the next year can i say the machinery was purchased last year only i didn't provide depreciation in the last year so i have to provide depreciation correct everybody so depreciation journal entry is what depreciation account debit to machinery account correct let's say 10% 900 but since you are in the next year you cannot write depreciation nominal account so what should we write pnl adjustment okay now in the exam they expect they don't expect us to pass two entries they expect us to pass one net entry so pnl adjustment should be credited with 900 debited with 800 so net credit will be 8100 machinery debit 900 credit 9 sorry debit 9000 credit 900 so it will be machinery 8100 so they expect us to pass a net entry after depreciation so this is how you will do once more i don't do depreciation in the first two method because depreciation is generally done at the time of preparing final account okay so in the first it is before preparation of trial balance and second it is before preparation of final accounts next year final account of the last year is already prepared so that is why we have to give effect of depreciation depreciation journal entry is depreciation to machinery now you can't write depreciation because it is a nominal account so you have to write pnl adjustment in exam they expect us to do a net of entry not two entries they expect us to write only one entry so i pass the net entry okay any doubt anybody If you have any doubt please raise your hand i can explain this again others do we have any doubt okay if you have understood this 12 transactions then 
ninety percent of the sums you will be able to do with closing your eyes very very easy. There will be a few more transactions which we have to understand. So that we will understand as we do the sum. Okay. So if you have not understood any, or if you want me to explain any again, I am ready to do it. Any transaction do you want me to explain again? Ma'am, so fast, fast you're scrolling, ma'am. How are we supposed to see? Okay. So we finish. Now, now come to your notebook. You will write the next chapter heading: rectification of errors. Write the no page book notebook page number. Okay. Now come to your notebook. Start in a fresh page. Write the chapter rectification of errors. And then you will write as it is. I'm scrolling down.
you know whenever i am bored or i need some entertainment i read swiggy notification the damn trippy maza aata hai so today they they sent a notification saying our throats are sore from cheering we hope yours are too celebrate india's latest medal with code silver and get 40% so what level of thinking mazedar now one minute can you stop writing everybody yeah okay now think and tell me whenever you make an error of principle okay that is uh, instead of uh, debiting machinery you debited purchases so that time is it a two sided error or one sided error okay yes to everybody yes so in that case uh, will my trial balance tally or not tally if it is a two sided error will my trial balance tally or not tally will tally yes so if it is a error of principle then can i say trial balance will tally okay if it is a error of omission partial omission means you forgot either you forgot journal to ledger or uh, you forgot one you posted other you didn't post then in that case will the trial balance tally or not tally not tally very good and in complete omission fully omitted in this case trial balance will tally or not tally yes very good tb tb tally likh deta hai if it is a compensating error means one error you made compensates an other error then tally not tally yes one error that we make compensates an other error then exactly it will tally then if it is a error of commission can i say we make different different types of error so in this case we write situational because it depends on what kind of error yes exactly amrita sent it depends on what kind of error is it right so we can't write tally or not so we just write situational okay so you write this then so i'm just scrolling that side uh, for you to write that side ka
Yeah, Scrolling down. Scroll more down. Amruta, that 12 rectification entries that we did know now, you will write it in your notebook and before you come for tomorrow's class, you will solve it twice. Okay? So that tomorrow's class becomes very easy for you. Stages of rectification.
Okay, I'm scrolling down. FA is fixed asset account.
okay so I'm, is everybody done others okay so when you have to go for the exam you have to revise till here okay so next what we write is for practice now come to next line and you write the heading as examples and you start writing from here Yes. I said that uh, whatever we wrote till now, no, that last point number six, that is what you should read one day before the exam and go. This and all you will do, this is practice question.
toy. Shall I go to the next slide? Okay, anybody still doing? Please raise your hand. Okay, Rahul, I'll wait. Okay, so then we go to this sheet. Now please copy exactly as it is. You will divide the page into four lines. And then you will copy. Ma'am, it is not possible to fit so much in one. It is possible. Yes, everybody, yes, yes, yes.
Now scroll down. Scroll down to second point. So we resume copying this uh, again tomorrow. So we will wind up for today. Okay guys. Fine. See you everybody. Bye everybody. I am one minute.